Hey there. April is Financial Literacy Month. But you know what? I think every month should be Financial Literacy Month. So it's never too early to learn about being financially organized. But I have to, I'm Judy Hepp, Financial and Lifestyle Concierge, and I'm celebrating 25 years in business. And I have to admit, I wasn't always very financially savvy. With my last business, I ran it by the seat of my pants. I didn't have a plan in place, but I knew how to make money. I just didn't know how to save it or invest it. So I, that's why I think it's never too early to teach our children how to understand the value of a dollar. If they can handle their finances, it's just what better gift can we give them? So when we're learning long, young, when we're learning finances young, it gives our children financial independence. And that's really the best thing we can do for our future. So money is very emotional. It's not just dollars and cents as we think it is. So there's a lot of financial decisions that we have to make every day. And some of them are simple and some of them are more complicated. So one is like, if we're gonna buy a car, should we buy a new, a new car off the lot? Should we lease it? Or should we buy a used car that's not gonna be depreciated the minute we drive it? Should I have an emergency fund? Do I need one? I'm so young. And then if I am gonna have an emergency fund, how much money do I need to have in it? Now, these are all really important questions. What's the difference between good debt and bad debt? So many people don't know the answer to that. How are my credit scores calculated? That's something that's really confusing to the average person. I get confused about it too. You close a credit card, it lowers your rate. It's just, you know, are there dings on it? You never know what to expect. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's really important to set realistic goals, to have a plan, and stick to it. So stick around. I would love to hear what you have to say. My next book is going to be on finances through the decades. And if you have any anecdotes that you'd like me to include, I would love to do that. Reach out to me at judy at judithheft.com. And my website is judithheft.com.